Hey, this is Kenny Anderson, and you're watching Positive Community Magazine. Uh, Mr. Chin, the documentary, man, my life story. It was awesome, man. Uh, great support. People came out. Um, just paying it forward, man. Just trying to, you know, tell my story, man. And, yeah, that, I cried so much during that documentary that they couldn't quit all the time. I cried. I get emotional, man. And uh, that's just my life. You know, I had a lot of a uh, lot of dark times in my life, but a lot of a lot of mentors, a lot of people have helped me. Um, it, it's just great that I can tell my story, be honest, and maybe help a youth that's uh, the next generation or somebody that's going through something. I say, hey, Kenny Anderson came out. I could come out, I could get help. And, and that's what I did it for. And I think my mother looking down on me, you know, smiling, saying, you're doing a good thing. But um, it was very emotional. It's like, it was therapy for me doing the documentary. So it, it, it all worked out. And it's, it's getting a lot of good reviews. And I don't, you can always appreciate somebody that's just trying to better themselves. You can pre I, that's all I'm trying to do, man. One of the best pure point guards in the NBA, Kenny Anderson! He's the best guard that I've seen as a high school performer. None of them dominated the way Kenny did. The second pick in the NBA draft, the New Jersey Nets select Kenny Anderson from Georgia Tech. A lot of people consider him the best point guard ever come out of New York City. His game was so much more advanced than most people. He could score and he could shoot. People find it really shockingly to believe that you're one of the greatest point guards I know, I in won. NBA history. I hope you know that. I was at a dysfunctional home, drug addicts, alcoholics, abusive. He had multiple women that he was building relationships with. If he was in love with you, then he was like, oh, I want a baby with you. Kenny just had so many things going on with him, and I just did, I couldn't deal with it. He would have been a better basketball player had he not ever had a drinking problem. Bothers me every day at DUI, because I did let those kids down. There's no shortcuts in life. It's going to catch up to you. And I feel honored to come and speak to y'all. The measurement of a person is when things don't go right, how you act. It's difficult trying to figure out what it is to be selfless when you've been selfish your whole life. Basketball is easy, life is hard. Say cheese!